Welcome back to our Getting Started series. Today we will learn about selecting objects, selecting designs, grouping and ungrouping objects and designs, and resizing designs. Before we get started, I want to tell you a little more about the value of your .emb file format as it relates to our topics today. Remember, only EMB designs contain the complete set of design information as digitized and as required for 100% perfect scaling and transformation. If you'll remember I told you in an earlier video that your machine files are stitch files, meaning that it cannot retain the actual objects that were originally digitized. Why? Because your machine only needs to know a few things, like where the needle points are and where the needle needs to drop into the fabric. So this is what the stitch file retains. However, one of the great things about Hatch is it has the capability to open stitch files and to create new objects. Most software cannot even do this. So while it cannot recreate all the properties exactly like the design was originally digitized, it does a really good job in recreating objects, which allows you to be able to edit these files in Hatch and do some resizing. Of course, there will be limitations because all the stitch data is not present. And then, of course, there are those designs that have lost so much details that even objects cannot be created in an efficient manner. These type of designs you should use as is and not try to edit or resize. This is why you should always say the original design you created in Hatch as a .emb before exporting to your machine's stitch file. In Hatch, the default setting is to open the stitch files and create objects, but you do have the capability to open stitch files and leave them as stitches only. We'll cover that at a later time. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.